A couple weeks ago, I had uh, posted a video doing a quick demo of the Power MC2 Pocket Wizard units for the Einstein strobes. Uh, several people that responded to that and asked me to do a little bit more coverage on it, um, especially with the AC3 zone controller, which I now have in my possession, where I received uh, a few weeks ago. This is the Pocket Wizard uh, AC3 zone controller on top of a Pocket Wizard Mini TT1 on top of my Canon 5D Mark II in combination with the power MC2s for the Einsteins uh, you're able to remotely control the power of your strobes from camera without actually having to physically walk to the strobe to adjust power a couple, couple weeks ago I had the opportunity to use this in a model shoot uh, situation and they actually worked fairly well so I wanted to go ahead and discuss that uh, on, an, on this video to show you how it works and so I have my camera with two Einsteins on two different zones, zone Alpha and zone Bravo. We have the Pocket Wizard AC3 zone controller. Um, all the zones are set to zero, Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. I only have Alpha and Bravo set to manual. Uh, zone Charlie is um, turned off since I have no uh, strobe plugged into that zone. Currently, we're gonna go ahead and wake up the Einsteins by just half pressing the shutter. Um, notice the modeling lamps went up and met the uh, same power as the actual strobe. Uh, currently, since zero is the index, that is zero plus or minus exposure in terms of the Pocket Wizard uh, nomenclature. If I wanted to come up in power on zone alpha, I can go ahead and adjust the zone controller. I want to come one full stop and notice it goes to one quarter power. If I wanted to go up another full stop, on the zone controller that will reflect to one half power and plus three on the zone controller sets the Einstein to full power as seen or reflected on the back of the Einstein's LCD panel I can go ahead and drop it back down to zero which sets it to the one eighth power if I want to do less than one eighth power I can go ahead and go negative EV on the zone controller so we'll go negative one drops to one sixteenth power I go to negative two, and it'll drop it to one thirty second of a power. And I'll go negative three, which drops it to one sixty fourth power. And if you notice that negative three is the lowest we can go on the zone controller, and if you notice on the back of the Einstein, I'm still at one sixty fourth power. And this is one of the drawbacks with the AC three in combination with the Power MC two, is that the Einstein, while it has a wide range of uh, power adjustment. The zone controller doesn't have enough adjustment to uh, to accommodate the uh, Einstein's uh, variable range. So you do lose the one one twenty eighth and one two fifty six power on the Einstein. Again, the, um, the AC three is called a zone controller because you're able to assign strobes to different zones. Uh, the first Einstein that we used for this test is on zone alpha. We here we have the second Einstein, which is on zone Bravo, zone B, as you can see on the LCD panel of the Einstein on the lower right hand corner next to the channel seat uh, control TL12. It says zone B or zone Bravo. Um, if I wanted to, I could set zone Bravo to a different power setting. Say I had this as my primary light and I needed it, it set to uh, say one quarter of a power, and I can keep my other Einstein on zone alpha set to 164th power. Uh, maybe as a hair light or a rim light. Um, it's great flexibility as far as these zone controllers are concerned. So if you have more than one light and you are working by yourself without an assistant, you're able to adjust your lights without having to walk to your lights physically and you can stay in, in your position and shoot your subject uh, without any interruption as far as adjusting your lights uh, by having to move towards them. Uh, There you can probably run a three light setup uh, really easily, but if you wanted to get more complex, say run um, a zone alpha, say you want to do a two light setup on zone alpha as butterfly lights or flat lighting to, or side lights for your model and have zone Bravo set as your center or key light and zone Charlie as your rim light, you can adjust all three of those independently. So that's four lights on three different zones. So the AC3 gives you great flexibility um, and it appears to work fairly well from what I've seen. 